Right, Goldstone Wharf, the Wharf Tavern. We've we, been here. We just winded and it went perfectly, no problems whatsoever. Oh, the washing machine's going again. Um, it went a bit wrong, didn't it? <laughs> well, what I was going to say is we've been here for two days. We, we, the last video we did was the end of a heat wave and it was too much. So cool. Cool. We, we've rain. been here for two days and it's rained for two days. So we're turning round. We, we came up the, the Turley flight and it was horrendous. We didn't have any cameras out because it was a uh, survival <laughs> situation. But we're now going through Woods Eve's Cuttings, which is incredibly shallow and incredibly overgrown since the last time we came up. So I'm going to keep the front camera going and I might do, I know people don't like time lapses, but I might, I might do the whole journey condensed through... Um, we'll see how it, how it, how it is. Yeah. So once again, once we get to the Turley flight, it's going to be every man for himself, so we may or may not do any talking to the camera. So let's, let's go through Woods Eaves. Can I just say, people have probably seen me piddling around with a remote control for this Sony camera, and it's always dangling on a piece of string and in the way and hitting Tom on the head when he goes down below. Well, I've been creative. I found enough bits to mount it on a magnetic um, camera mount. So from now on, you won't be able to see it. We're recording, yeah. You won't be able to see it, but it's down here. Out the way, easily at hand. Handy hips, tips number 28. I don't know what the other 27 were. I'll have to think about them later. Well, we're doing so well so far, famous last words. Because we haven't met anybody coming the other way. But there's a bridge just up here. And more narrows, and narrows and twisty turns. Oh, it's such a relaxing activity. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Wibbly Wobbly. You can do it. That behind you, does that look like a boat? I don't know. Wait. So what do you what do you think? What do you think of what do you think of my new remote control yeah. handle? The washing it machine. Hit my head. The washing machine is discharging. We've been really low on power because um, we've disconnected the fridge because it's been hot, hasn't it? We had three hot days, hot, hot, sure hot is September the days ever. Working right though. Which you think, well that's great, that's loads of solar power, but it, get, it must have been 100 degrees down there and the fridge was working non-stop, so we switched it off. It was and the we start of it, wasn't it? It kept starting kept all the time. starting, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we just spent two days not going anywhere, and it was raining, so we didn't get any solar, so the battery power... We may have an electrical problem, still we, don't know. We may have an electrical problem, but the... the um, Inverter kept cutting out I mean, because this idiot here put the washing machine on on a 30 degree wash. It's only, is it, I just wish somebody for the last 18 months have been saying we need to get an electric just to check everything's okay. Uh -huh. I've been saying it 18 months, it doesn't listen, it doesn't listen. And anyway, it's, 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 it's a process of elimination, we've done, the wash is nearly finished. We're, we're doing at least a two or three hour four hour cruise today so the batteries will be topped up, the sun's come out again and we'll see what I'm it's like. I've got locks. And I hate them. Well I'm doing that with my eyes shut. <laughs> well you may as well, the second I, I, lock, I, I, came I, in the second lock and uh, right. I did it with my eyes shut on the you way up. In sideways, you're a lot that way. Yeah I know but apparently so did everybody else that day. You know, you know yeah that guy, yeah, yeah. Anyway. So did give you some good it, advice though. Enough how about not to my do it. failures. Well, we're almost at the end of uh, Woods Eve's cutting. It's widened out a bit now. And miraculously, we didn't meet a boat coming the other way. Wasn't that a miracle? What? Hey, praise be to the Lord. Oh, he doesn't exist, does oh, he? No. Schoolboy error. <laughs> 
didn't put anything on my electronical stuff. Electronical? Electrical? Yeah. Any, anyway, basically me tablet and stuff. You put anything on charge? Well, you can now, the washer's nearly finished. Yeah, but I forgot to do it. Yeah, well, they don't take up much electric anyway. <laughs> then if I did put my headphones on. Anyway, next challenge, Turley Locks. May do some recording, may not. May just do a, 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 a speeded up version from the front camera. May do some shouting, he may not. But if the front camera's got any sense, it'll be doing this. <laughs> yeah, but... I don't want you to do shouting, just not me today, okay? Not, not me. Okay. Saying that though, I have to be honest with you. I'm going to try to behave myself. However, if I do see either one of them two boats that from earlier on, I might say something. Oh. Controversial. You got to go. So we've done the uh, wood sieves cuttings without meeting anybody. Wonderful. But hours and hours ago, there was a boat that instead of instead of pushing the front out and driving off, what they did was they pushed the back end out and reversed into a bridge and then drove forward. Yeah, and now uh, they've That's just gone. Way, didn't it? They've just gone into the top block at Turley in front of us. So it's going to take us a while to get down this yeah, flight. Well, but never mind. Normally I'd be really it's frustrated. It's not raining. I, I'm not that, I think if we were going up I'd be frustrated. But you know, this is perfect cruising weather, which is what we thought we were going to have when we came out last week. Because it is September. And the sun's shining, it's not raining, and I've got my Gansey on. I just felt like a drop of rain, but oh, I might be going mad. God. Let's hope it was a seagull. Could be from the trees then. Yeah, a seagull. Bit of a kerfuffle at Turley Locks. I don't know what's happened, but there's a boat stuck. Well, not stuck, but with nowhere to go. Because there's too many boats in the pound, and there's no lot landing here. But there is a boat on them. Oh, I, I give up. This, this is not going as well as we had hoped. There's no one coming up, but there are a lot of boats getting down. And they've misjudged it and ended up with a couple of boats in the pounds waiting for the gates to open. So I'm going to stay in this lock for a while. Because the boat, yeah. There are no boats in the pounds, but they've only just gone into the lock. And this is where you start meeting the vicious bar washes. So I'm going to take my time. Who's that woman that you've just met? What's her name? What? Karen. Uh -huh. this nice one up. Turley is living up to its name. We're in lock Whoa, one, two, three. Uh, and a, a very nice American lady's just come walking up to tell us that uh, I don't know if it's the next lock or the bottom lock but a boat has got stuck on a rock. <laughs> that's, that's Turley for you. So we're all going nowhere quick. 
oh well, the sun's come out. And we, we're generating electricity, so it can't be bad. Yeah, this is Turley Locks at its best. We don't know, there was a blockage on the first lock, somebody got stuck on the rocks. Easy done. Uh, but I think Tom's just said there were four boat, boats in that pound behind us. Fortunately, the blockage in front has cleared, so because we've been coming out and I, mean, I, I like to come straight out of one lock straight into the other, but there's been somebody lurking in front of us. But the blockage seems to have gone, so there's nobody. There's a lot just here, we're waiting to go in. There's another lock 100 yards down, but there's nobody in the pound. There's a boat coming up, so we should just be able to go straight through. Then it'll be time for a cup of tea. This, this um, trip through Turley Locks could have been turned into an episode of how not to do everything. Jesus, I'm glad we're nearly out. Alright, this is a vicious bar wash. But there's a boat heading my way coming out of the lock. If they've got any sense, they'll wait there until we're ready to come out and then we'll pass, bar wash permitting. That's the worst passage through a set of locks we've ever encountered. <laughs> Even right at the end, the, there's a vicious bywash in front of that boat there. And because they were, they've all been queuing up here, the boat, well, I, I'm hoping the front camera's still alive. The boat get, that was moored on the lock landing left me no room to get out at all. There's a big rock on that side. Oh, God. I don't, I, I don't think we're going to do any more filming today. Are we not doing any more filming today? No, we're just approaching Market Drayton. Hopefully we can get on the service point. I'm using a, a See you later.